all my favorite people. Right now we're going to identify perfect squares using a calculator. The lovely thing about exponents is that we get to use that calculator. All right, so let's dive in. Well, we've talked about how the perfect square is a product of a number being multiplied by itself. So 9 would be a perfect square because 3 times 3 is 9. And like 25 is a perfect square because 5 times 5 is 25, right? So a number being multiplied by itself is a perfect square. We represent that with an exponent with that little 2, right, to the second power, or we would say squared. So 25 would be 5 squared, which is 5 times 5. So that's kind of like easy to think about, but what if I'm given a list of numbers and I'm just supposed to identify which ones are perfect squares? So here it says circle the perfect squares below. And I have 10, 200, 350, 169, 125, and 225. Well, how do I know whether or not they're a perfect square? Two things that you could do. Number one, you could memorize all of the perfect squares between 1 and 400, which would be 1 times 1, and then 20 times 20. But there is an easier way. So the opposite of squaring a number, so let's say if we had like 4 squared, which is 16, is finding what we call the square root. So the square root of 16 would be 4, right? Tells you what number times itself would give you that bigger number. So in your calculator over here, right here is the square root key. It is directly under the square key, right? So if I take a number and I square it, the answer is the perfect square. But then if I take that bigger number, sorry, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. Crazy town. Crazy town. What's happening? All right. Anyways, if I take the square root of that number, so if I hit the square root key and I type in that bigger number, well, it tells me that 4 is the square root, which means 4 times 4 is 16. So to figure out if a number is a perfect square, you take the square root. So let's start with 10. I'm going to touch the square root key, and I'm going to put 10. And then you see how I have this long decimal? If the square root of a number is a decimal, it's not a perfect square. In order to be a perfect square, the square root has to be an integer. So let's try 200. Square root key, 200, long decimal, not a perfect square. Let's try 169. 100, oh, sorry, you have to hit the square root button first, square root key, 169. Well, look at that, 13. Number is a whole number, so that is a perfect square. Let's try the square root of 125. Decimal, so it's not a perfect square. Let's try the square root of 225. Ooh, a whole number, right, an integer, so 225 is a perfect square. Let's try that last one, the square root of 350. Law, oh, that's just 50. Oh, geez, oh, pizzies. Let's try it again. The square root of 350, long decimal, not a perfect square. So if you're given a list of numbers and you have to identify the perfect squares and you haven't quite memorized them, then remember, you use the square root, ooh, geez, what did I do? Key, right? That square root key right over here on your Desmos calculator. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Love ya, bye.